what is up YouTube welcome back to another video of Kareem's creations and right now we are getting ready to go to our local park and take this one out for a little walk we're gonna go take her for a walk right now and then we will start our second video as you guys see in the video title today we are going to be dealing with rammed earth and by rammed earth excuse me radio shut the hell up radio i'm talking by rammed earth i don't know if you guys know about this concept or have ever came across this concept there are so many different communities out there we have the tiny home village we have the earth dome village we have the earth bag community we have the earth ship community we have so many communities that are all under the same umbrella it's called sustainable sustainability and sustainable lifestyle sorry guys i'm driving and talking and holding a camera at the same time this is actually called being talented so i got to the park me and lily are gonna go enjoy ourselves. She's gonna get out and be the wild young feline as she is, cause she's just can't wait to go catch herself in iguana. Mind you, sorry, iguana rescues out there. I do not let her catch them. I stop her and I tell her to let them go, but she's got fucking speed. You know, these pit bull species, they're so smart. They're like trained to do literally that. Like she just wants to go grab some things and catch them. She's a savage. We can already see her in like action. She's ready to roll. So give me a second. She's on the hunt. She is on the hunt. She thinks she's catching something. And we're at the park. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna let her be as free as possible and go enjoy herself for 20 minutes. And then we are gonna move on to our lime mixture and earth bag. Sorry, earth, rammed earth tutorial it's gonna be our part one so I'm trying to do as many parts as possible and to be consistent with this build you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about in less than five minutes but let's have fun with my dog for a little while see you in a bit all right so she's tired and we're heading back now we got her tired perfect we've been out here for a while we we're all the way out there and now we're back here I'll see you guys in a second all right so we are here we are inside of the dude the domain we're getting ready to start we are gonna start with just taking a look at everything this is our clay this is our sand and this is our cement freshly purchased from your local home depot this is our mold okay I'm gonna walk you guys through each step now. First things first, our jar test, okay? So in this particular segment, we're gonna get two jars of sand, fill it up to the top, okay? Now we're gonna add that to our bucket main bucket I think what we'll focus on is the different parts here so it's gonna be three part sand two part water and one part cement that's your two your third option right on in here what we're searching for is like that nice, easy filtration, okay? You really would 
want gloves, but I'm a professional, so I don't need gloves. That was our one part. And this is our second part. Okay. Now water. So the idea is to mix and pour water at the same time. So, here we go. Because we want it to get nice and thick. So what I found is to allow the, the water to be kind of a mist. You know, like if you've ever been inside of like a jacuzzi, like the mist that comes off of the hot steaming air. It's so small and little, but it really does the job rather quickly. You don't have to have a ton of water in immediately. But right now, our mixture looks great. We are working. We are close to what we're searching for. Okay. We're going, we're searching for a really thick clay content. We want it to be nice and thick, like right now, we can actually play with this. Like this is actually sand, earth, and cement, a mixture of it. This type of cement we're using is called stucco. So now our clay content is gonna be super thick. This is our third jar of earth. We're gonna do one more jar of earth. Because if you see what we're working with right now, we've got a nice amount of components. Our next part is going to be water. And then from there, we are going to put our molds in place. And we're going to move on to the actual building process, okay? This is our four part of earth. Let's go. So I know this looks like this right now, but we're going to have to take this apart. Okay, these are anchors. You can find these at Home Depot, about $8.49 each. You're gonna need these to complete this process. So, first things first, vegetable oil. This is what you're gonna put down on your actual wood. And this helps for the process of solely now, can you disconnect from the Bluetooth, please? This helps for the process of the stickiness. You know, you don't want your wood to stick to your earth. So you want it to be as lubricated as possible. First things first, vegetable oil. Okay. You just rub this in there just like this. Get this one done rather quickly. Just rub this in just like this around the whole board. Okay. First wood down. Vegetable oil around the entire base. Remember, this is the key note, people. If you forget this process, you might actually peel off your wall as you're curing your item. So what you want to do is you want to get all the edges because you want those sharp corners. Get right around the edges, nice and tidy. Oil it up. You know, this guy's getting ready to go for a beach day. So we're oiling him up. He's gonna look great. Second one done, just these halves, just like this. Vegetable oil. I'm running out of vegetable, I'm gonna need more for my part two. Okay, and now we are ready to insert our mold and create this wall. Okay. This is what we're shooting for. First wood. 
drop down, give me 20. Here, just like that. This one's gonna go just like this. Now that's our wall. These are about two inches apart. Usually you'll be working on a bigger scale for my students that are obviously working on a bigger scale. This, this would be six foot, six to eight feet high, okay? But today, our tutorial is for small scale. Insert your anchors on the edges. Now you're locked in place. Get your second anchor while you have time. Anchor them down. Alright, he's in. I want you guys to see this process, so I'm turning it your way. Anchor down. Now that's our mold, so we're not even going to move this guy anymore. We want him to stay just how he is. Now our soil looks amazing. Remember, we were four parts, different components. Two part cement, two part earth, two part water. So, this is what you're going to be doing. Get a nice amount in for your baseline. This is your base. It's going to be the first layer of earth right here. All right. Okay. And this is going to be our tamper. This is going to be our tamper. Just gonna tamp that bad boy down. Nice and solid. Get your first layer in. Apply a lot of pressure. Normally you don't even have to push too hard. You just kinda gotta give it a little pressure. That looks good. That's our number one, that was quick. So now, you're just gonna continue to add your earth. That was our one. That looks good. It's nice and muddy down there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually add a little bit more of the stucco inside of our paste so that our clay content is actually thicker. We want it to be nice and thick and almost muddy. Give me a second. What I did is I added one more jar of stucco just to give it that thick, rich clay content. Because that's what we want. We want that muddy putty feel. This is going to be our second layer. Beautiful. Tamper on down. Nice and soft. it already from my preview my point of view you can really see this wall creating quickly as possible less than 10 minutes we'll have a fully preset wall we're gonna let it cure for about five and then you guys will get to see this demonstration full all right so you're gonna tamper down nice and good give it a little bit of pressure That looks beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten these a little bit more that pressure in there with that consistency give it a little bit more of a tighten so you're going to get 
continue this process until the top. Once you see everything's nice and flat, you're going to add more of your earth. about where we want to leave off the tippy top so as you guys can see I am at the last finishing touches this is the end right here people I'm gonna tamper it down it's gonna be a little messy that's all right we're gonna tamper 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 let's get the finishing coat Okay, let it get nice and messy. It's bound to get messy. All right, right at the top. So here is the final stage all right I'm gonna show you guys in a second the revealing of this small scale rammed earth wall we be right back all right guys so this is the finishing stages of everything we obviously used our earth that's the remaining amount those are more of our earth and this was our stucco straight out of the bag very well used. Our tamper is gonna be removed, placed off to the side. Now we are gonna take off these anchors one by one, very gently, because I'm using one hand to film, and then I'm using one hand to actually remove. So that's our first anchor off. Second anchor's coming off now. And from here, we should have a finished rammed earth wall should have our finished look right here i'm glad you guys have stuck with me through this entire video this was an amazing build and i'm very thankful so off the sides come off the sides come okay now be prepared for the magic one side at a time. Okay. Look at those lines. We had a little bump happen there. Would you look at that wall? So here we obviously understand this is our base. We need to build on top of something. It's a crooked wall, but you guys get the full perspective. This is a small scale rammed earth wall put together by me. Look at those lines. Do you see that? It's a beautiful wall. Till the next video. Bye guys.